from EssentialsForHealthyLivingWithMindy.com. I'm also known as Mindy the Oil Lady on Instagram and YouTube. And today I'm going to give you a little quick tip on how to make a relaxing pillow spray. Um, I have gotten to where I really like to pamper myself with pillow sprays and linen sprays. And when you use pure quality oils such as Young Living oils, then you can get therapeutic benefits as well as enjoying the nice fragrance. So I apologize in advance for the background noises of my daughter's movie. Um, gotta keep her sidetracked or she'll be in here trying to help me teach and she's a little too young for that. But um, although I have to tell you, my kids really do love their oils and love to use them. Now. Here's what I'm going to do. I have an empty, well, it's almost empty. I'm running low. This is why I'm making the video today because I'm almost out of my favorite pillow spray. Um, usually I use glass for anything with oils, but what I have right now is this plastic one and the oils I'm using are real mild and don't really dig in. Citrus oils are the worst, so you don't ever want to use plastic with them. But for now, this is what I'm doing. Um, so I've got my, my little squirt bottle, and I've taken the lid off, and I've got my funnel. Okay, so the first step that I want to do is I want to put in some Epsom salts. And I guess ideally my bottle should be empty for this step, but we're just going to go with it, okay? We don't need to overthink this. I'm, I'm always telling people to keep it simple. Okay, so this is just a jar of regular Epsom salts that I picked up at the store. And I'm gonna take about two pinches of Epsom salts for this size jar. And I'll put them in there. And then I'm gonna add my oils. The first oil I'm gonna use is lavender. And I'm gonna put, I did six drops, okay? Lavender is a good relaxing oil. Cedar wood is a very good relaxing oil, and it goes well with lavender. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna add equal amounts of each of these oils. Cedar wood is a bit thicker, so it's a little bit slower coming out of the bottle. I don't know if you can see that in the video. Now I've lost count because I'm talking. That's so me. Okay, got the cedar wood, and then. I'm going to use frankincense. Now, to be honest, I, um, I'm all the time changing it up. Every time I make a new batch, I do something a little bit different. But this is what I used last time, and I, I've really been enjoying it, so I'm going to stick with it this time because I really like the combination of these three oils. Fragrance, frankincense is a wonderful oil for relaxation and just improved mental function. It's just so good for our brain health overall. Um, so I've added my oils. Now the next step is I'm going to add a little bit of distilled water. Distilled is best. So I'm just going to, I'm going to make this about a fourth full of distilled water. Now, if you prefer, you can use the whole thing distilled water. You can just fill it all the rest of the way up. But um, I really find better results when I use vodka as the main base because it's, it's unscented. Some people will use rubbing alcohol, but that has a strong scent and you have to wait for that to dissipate. The, the vodka does not have a scent, so it just carries the fragrance of the oils and it suspends them better and makes the fragrance last longer than it does if you just use water. Now, I know some of you watching this say, I have never owned a bottle of vodka in my life and I would be so embarrassed to go into the liquor store to buy it. Well, it, yeah, I mean, it, it can feel a little bit funny, especially when you go in and you buy a ginormous bottle like this one. But um, I bought this because I'm making a lot of room sprays right now and and pillow sprays and I also use this for certain herbal preparations and um, so I went in and I, and I told the lady who worked there what I was looking for she pointed me to the vodka and I said well 
I'm really just going to use it for like room sprays and cleaning and things like that. So I'm looking for something kind of inexpensive and she was real helpful and helped me out. And then when they know what you're doing, you're not quite so embarrassed at buying the humongous bottle and looking like an alcoholic. So anyway, um, I just, nobody really cares. So for those of you who feel tense about it, just, just, it's, it's all good. I mean, you know what you're doing with the oil. You know you're not sitting at home, or the, the vodka. You know you're not sitting at home being a lodge. So, I'm just trying to put your mind at ease because I know some people are quite embarrassed about that sort of thing. And some of you are like, what's the big deal? I'm going there all the time. Okay. Whatever, to each his own. We're all different. All right, now, um, just gonna, I'm just going to fill this up the rest of the way with the vodka. And like I said, the alcohol just suspends it all. A lot better and makes the fragrance last longer it also um, gosh it just helps like um, to also deal with any any yucky odors that may be lingering in there and so that's all I do and then I'm simply going to put my sprayer top back on and then shake it up and then I can use it and I forgot to mention the reason for the Epsom salts going in there is gosh, that's full, is because they allow, what you want is for the essential oils to soak into the Epsom salt, and then that will help disperse them more evenly in the liquid, because we know that oil and water don't mix. I don't really know how it works with the alcohol, but I think it's the same as with water. So it disperses them more evenly and acts as sort of an emulsifier so that you don't have your oils just floating on the surface. So. It's, it's a really good step to use if you can. Then you just shake it up and spray it on your sheets, spray it in the air. Sometimes I'll spray it on the shower curtain in my bathroom to just freshen that room up a bit. So this is a great all natural, um, no toxins like with most of your store bought fresheners. So it's really good for you. And I really enjoy using this and it does help me to relax and to sleep better. So that is your tip for the day. Please join me again for more videos that I will have coming up soon. And God bless.